What's up, everybody? I'm out here and I'm about to tour a Passport 40 that's right behind me. And I'm pretty excited because I've never been aboard a Passport before and I've heard they're pretty good quality boats. Now, I do want to apologize because Randy is obviously not here, but she is building a baby. So I do think that's a legitimate excuse. But anyway, let's go take a look. But first, but first, I'm sorry to be a broken record, but I do want to remind everybody that if you've been watching these videos and you're enjoying them, can you please hit that subscribe button that's right down here? It helps us a lot and thanks in advance for that. Anyway, without further ado, let's go take a look. Alrighty, I am on board. This is a 40 foot monohull, has a good amount of beam. So it certainly feels like a substantial boat back here from the aft cockpit. And we're gonna go forward first. It looks like there is a Dodger that goes here. Canvas is just down because it's hurricane season in Florida, so it makes sense. Nice teak side decks. Looking up the rigging, we've got a slab reef main, Doyle stack pack, cabin top traveler. Looking up, double spreaders, looks to be a traditional sloop. We've got inboard shrouds, so keeps those side decks clear. Nice large hatch right there, lots of ventilation, and some pretty big door aids right there. Two there and one there. Got some big old granny bars. And it looks like all the rigging goes back to the mast. Got a real nice rib on the deck over here. Nice high, really high lifelines. They're almost to my waist. Teak decks look like they're in pretty good shape. Nice big stainless windlass right there. And I'm wrong. There is a spot for an inner stay. So this is a cutter rig. Perfect, that's even better. Foot pedals for the windlass. Roller furling. Big old Bruce anchor. Cutouts for your dock lines and your anchor lines. Nice high bulwarks, so look at that. Your foot's not sliding off the deck anytime soon. Going aft, we've got our spinnaker pole, our gin pole, rigged up on the mast right there. Got a radar on top, coming back down. And there's the cockpit. So let's check out that cockpit. So the aft cabin is below me on the starboard side right here, so that doesn't open, but the port side does. So let's look what's in here. Good sized cockpit locker. This is a T-shaped cockpit. So you can pull out these little teak inserts when you're sailing so you can get around the wheel a lot better. Looks like there's a dock box strapped right here. I imagine when this boat is at the dock, this box is not aboard. Got some more cockpit lockers down below, but the dock box is there, so I can't get to them. Got a nice big helm station. You can definitely steer the boat from the combing if you wanted to, from each side. And all your instruments right here. Looks like the GPS goes there and then something else over there. Two big Lumar 48 winches. One's covered. And I like the bronze port lights on this boat. So it's got bronze port lights all around. Very, very nice boat. I just came down the companionway. 
looking to port, we've got a nice little nook galley right here. Randy would definitely like it. The woodwork on this boat is in really, really good shape for its age. It's, it's in really, really good shape. And then the ceiling's got nice looking white beadboard on top. Looks like the galley has an icebox or a fridge. Looks like your fridge down there. Nice and big top loading fridge. Got some storage behind here. Pretty good storage. Again, the woodwork is just really, really nice. Looks great. Got some more storage over here. And then these, these sliders are pretty nice as well. They're really thick, like you can tell the quality. Got your gimbaled propane stove. Nice big double sink right here. More storage down below, some drawers. Looks like a compressor down there. Looking aft again. Cool. So this fridge can be accessed from the top or down here. And we've got some more drawers. Very nice. Nice and tidy. Ooh. See? It's the little things. Like a pull-out cutting board. It's the little things. Alright guys, that's the galley. Very, very nice galley. This is the main saloon. And again, the woodwork. Very nice. The upholstery is in really good shape as well. This boat's definitely been taken care of. We've got proper nav station to starboard right here. I like. Got some more storage down here. Going forward. Looks like we've got a heater over there. A necessity for cruising those northern latitudes and turning aft. I really like this saloon setup. I think that's going to be the engine right there and it's right in the middle of the boat. So good balancing for one, but also good engine access. Lots of storage behind here. Set tees. There's that heater again. Let's take a look back at that engine. Oh yeah. So, real good sound dampening insulation. And then we've got what looks to be a very new Yanmar down there. Really good access. I mean, you could probably take, I mean, you can definitely take all these panels off and get all the way around it. Really, really cool. Nice centrally located engine. Then we've got storage up here. I'll bet anything there's storage under the cushions. So down here looks to be a water heater. This wouldn't be a learning the lines tour if we didn't tear some stuff apart. That looks to be a tank right there. Not sure if it's water or diesel. There's that. So we've got tankage, water heater down there. What's under settee number two? I think we found a water tank. So this one's plastic. The other tank looks like it's stainless. Again, lots of storage up here. So it looks like all of the tankage, including the engine right there, all centrally located in the boat, most likely over the keel. So very good design. Let's go forward. We've got a V-berth. Let's walk through this. Very good headroom all throughout probably. Over six feet for sure. 
nice big V berth with like a side entry right here. We got some stairs. Lots of storage with drawers right here. Cabinets on the side. And again, just woodwork is just in really, really good shape for a boat of this vintage. It's very nice. Let's turn back around. Let's go in there. So here's our main head. Got a separate shower, so awesome design for a liveaboard. And then we've got the main head right here. Let's look at the aft cabin. So it looks like we have basically a full size double berth back here. It's really nice. It's being used a little bit as storage right now because the boat's on the hard, but you guys can kind of get the picture. There's a lot of storage again. And you know what? If this were my boat, I think I'd be tempted to use this as the main cabin. It's pretty big. All right, guys, it's time for the continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern. So we're starting off in the very comfortable V berth. Turning aft. We've got the main saloon. But I kind of need to come out here and turn around, turn to port, to get into the head. So we've got the head here, full stand up shower. Looking aft again, we've got our starboard settee, our main saloon port settee, engine compartment right there, nav station, aft cabin, we'll go in that in a second, and we've got a very secure nook galley. Turning back around, going to starboard. And then we have the aft cabin. And that's it guys. Just a quick note, it looks like I need some kind of key to pull up the floorboards, so I'm not going to do that in this video. And there's a the companionway. So I really liked that boat a lot, and I think Randy would too. The woodwork for the boat's age was in pretty good shape, and you know there wasn't a heck of a lot of work to be done on it. I mean, maybe the cabin sole, maybe some trim pieces here and there, a little bit of deck work, but what old boat doesn't need a little bit of work? It was in generally pretty good shape overall, and it's what I would consider basically a no-nonsense blue water cruiser. It's an awesome boat and you can definitely tell the quality because of how thick the woodwork was in the boat you can definitely feel how solid the decks were you can see the build quality throughout and it was designed really really well I love the layout the nook galley the aft cabin was a good size the single head with a separate shower on this size of boat I would definitely go with only one head and make it a big head instead of having two smaller heads that are you know potentially wet heads so I liked the separate shower it was an awesome design the V berth was a pretty big V berth and I can definitely see this boat being the right boat for a couple or a small family that wants to cruise on a pretty decent budget and with minimal work this boat can definitely be out there cruising and it can definitely cross some oceans so I think it's a great boat there are a couple things I would upgrade or add on to, maybe upgrade the electronics a little bit, maybe add some solar, I didn't see any solar, and maybe add a water maker, I didn't see one of those, but the boat's in good shape. The exterior probably needs like a compound and a wax, but pretty minimal stuff for a boat of this age. And I mean, like I said before, what old boat doesn't need a little bit of work? I would definitely get a full survey, especially for the price that they're asking, but I definitely think the price is good for a passport and the price is gonna be in the description below just like all of our videos along with the contact information for the broker if you were interested in potentially purchasing this boat. And with that, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you wanna know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on 
Come sit here.